Hey there, beautiful you. I think I can help you drop the concept of laziness completely during this video so that you don't have to think bad of yourself anymore, which will be great for your happiness and self-love. Lately, I've been meeting a lot of people who call themselves lazy, and they always have some negative connotation going with that. If you think of laziness as something delicious, then this video is not for you. You can just like have your delicious concept of laziness. That's great. But if you have some negative connotation with it, like you think of yourself as lazy and it makes you feel bad about yourself, then let's take a look at a more positive perspective on these situations in which you would call yourself lazy. One, you're not inspired. Do you know these kind of days where you're lying in your bed and you just don't feel like doing anything? It's not like you're enjoying your bed. It's not like you want to sleep more. You're just lying awake in your bed, not feeling motivated to get up. Yes, you might call that lazy. But if you don't want to think bad of yourself anymore, you can also see that you're just not inspired. If you would feel inspired to, I don't know, like make a painting or go do your awesome job, then you would jump out of your bed and go like, yeah, I really want to now do this. But no, you're not feeling inspired. Well, maybe you're just not in connection with your heart's desires. And in this society, we often have a lot of ideas about things we need to do, things we have to do, things we're expected to do for, because of other people. And we can easily fill our whole days and lives with all that stuff that might not be in line with our heart's desires. So we often have even lost the ability that as a child we still had um, of <sighs> listening to your heart's wishes. So you might need to re-establish that connection by asking yourself, what do I feel enthusiastic about? And maybe it's um, going for a walk in the forest, or maybe it's visiting a friend you haven't seen for a while. And maybe it's making a work of art. So see what is a motivation for you to get you out of your bed and don't think about things you have to do, but think about things you feel inspired to do. So let yourself be led by inspiration. And that's an ability you might need to train a bit because it takes some practice to start listening to your heart's desires again. But whenever you feel something enthusiastic about a certain idea, and ideas will come up, and you just have to ask your heart, what do you feel inspired to do? What, what would make you feel happy? And then you can start doing those things and that will get you out of your bed. Inspiration will get you out of your bed. Two, you're doing things you don't like. If you're not liking your work, for example, yes, you're going to have to kind of kick your own ass to get yourself to work. If you don't like your exercise routine, then it's going to be all the time this thing of I have to exercise. And we're doing many things that we, we think we have to do. And it's often things we don't like. And then we might call ourselves lazy because we're not feeling like doing the things that we have to do. Because we don't like them. Well, it's very natural that you don't like thing, doing things you don't like. <laughs> so you don't have to call yourself lazy. You just have to see that it's just something you don't like. So of course you don't like doing it. Give yourself some compassion, please. And also, give yourself some reflection time to see if you can organize your life differently so that you are not doing those th things that you don't like anymore, but doing things you do like. For example, in my life, when I got back problems some years ago, my physiotherapist gave me some exercises. And at the beginning, I did them and it completely helped me with my back pains. But also, I judged those exercises really boring. And so after a while, I actually quit the habit of doing those exercises and I got back pain again. But then I just found a different way to help my back in ways that I did like. Like I liked swimming I, and I like doing yoga. 
and now I'm doing those things and I don't have back pain anymore. If you have a job you don't like, well, maybe look around for a job you do like. If you don't like your household chores, chores, yeah, right, then see if you can have a help in the house. See if you can hire someone to do that for you. Um, or see if you can make an exchange if you do like cooking, for example. Maybe someone else who's living in the same house doesn't like to cook and will take over your cleaning tasks so that you cook for them. You know, there are ways to organize your life differently so that you're doing less and less things you don't like. So many people have this kind of saying, expression, idea of there are things in life that we don't like. And that's just the way it is. Is it really that's just the way it is? Do we really have to settle for a life where things are, where there are things that we don't like to do? I don't think so. I don't think we have to settle for that. I would really encourage you to keep trying to organize your life in ways to have more and more joy. Three, you need rest. Sometimes we don't have energy to do the things that we actually do like, like our hobbies. And then we might start calling ourselves lazy. But the truth is that we just need rest. And in this society, it's quite easy to underestimate the amount of rest that you need. Because um, this society is kind of a bit ruled by capitalism. And for capitalist reasons, we thought of working days should be this many hours. And that's for profit reasons. It's not for health and well-being reasons. Maybe for your health and well-being, it's actually better to work less hours and have more resting time. Don't make yourself wrong for needing rest. There is not something wrong with you if you feel void of of energy, if you have a long working day, or if you have a lot of things on your mind, if you have a lot of responsibilities, if you do a lot of things, you're going to need rest. And that's perfectly natural and normal. So don't call yourself lazy. Just see that you need rest and honor that. Four you need self-care. Whether it's mentally or physically, we sometimes really need to take better care of ourselves. If you're feeling physically unwell for some reason, maybe you have a disease or maybe you've been living an unhealthy lifestyle and that's making your body feel tired and sick, you need to take care of yourself. Or maybe you're feeling depressed or stressed or anxious. You need to take care of yourself. You can't expect yourself to be productive while you're not feeling well. Honor your need for care. And often people only start taking really good care of themselves when they're already in a burnout (laughs) or when they already have had a heart attack. You can start taking care of yourself much sooner. You can start taking care of yourself as soon as you can use some self-care. As soon as you feel maybe um, a little bit physically unwell. Or if you have some negative thoughts clouding your mind. Take a good look at it. Don't ignore your problems. Rather take care of yourself. And maybe for you that's having having some days in a quiet nature place or maybe it's getting yourself a massage or maybe it's cooking a really healthy meal for yourself taking health supplements or um, having a meeting with a mental coach or a psychologist or maybe you just need some cuddling time with someone Um, you know whatever it is take care of yourself For me, for example, if I have back pain, I don't expect myself to be productive. I just take myself to a nice asana yoga class. Or if I have some negative thoughts, if I have some worries, I take some time to reflect on it, see what's bothering me, find a positive perspective instead, and use some affirmations to anchor that new positive perspective. That's what I need. So it's up to you to honor your need for care self-care and to listen to your own needs find out what helps you
And then when you've helped yourself, you can start feeling inspired again to do a lot of things. Five, you need time to play. Being goal oriented is awesome and it's great to get a lot of things done. But if you're doing that all the time, you'll probably lose the joy. You'll probably start feeling like I don't want to work anymore, even if it's a passion project. Because if you're doing that all the time, you also need some time to play. Play is like the opposite of goal orientedness because you're allowing yourself to have as only goal in mind to have fun. And that will recharge your heart. Playing can look like, for example, climbing a tree, if that's what you like to do. Or maybe you like to cook with an ingredient you've never cooked with before. Maybe you want to build a sandcastle on the beach. Maybe you want to make a, a work of art with things that you would usually uh, put in your, in your dustbin. Whatever, whatever it looks like to you. You know, maybe you want to put a little sweet note on under the windscreen wiper of a stranger's parked car. It can be all kinds of things. Whatever is playfulness for you, allow yourself to play because that will recharge your heart. And then you don't have to call yourself lazy when you're not feeling like working on that same goal again because you need some time off. Six, you just want to enjoy relaxation. And of course, what's also possible is that you're just lying in your bed and you're really enjoying it. You don't want to get up because your bed is so nice and soft and you're so relaxed. Same, maybe you're lying cozily curled up on your sofa and you just want to stay there. Well, then, you know, just enjoy that. Or if you really can't somehow because of duties and responsibilities, then at least don't make yourself wrong for enjoying relaxation. It's just a very enjoyable thing. And of course you want to enjoy this enjoyable thing more. So just don't ever make yourself wrong. So what to do whenever you think of yourself as lazy? See if you can reframe it. See if one of these other reasons are actually the case. And then take care of yourself or find what you are inspired to do. Um, whatever, whatever you need, you know. Don't call yourself lazy. It's not so friendly. And you really don't have to. If you have any questions for me, put them in the comments below. And I would love to hear how this um, journey towards nicer self-esteem or however you want to call it a nicer self-image you know is going if you like the video please give it a like if you want to see more of my videos it will help you to subscribe that's all i wish you a really great day and good luck with losing the habit of calling yourself lazy you're free. <laughs>